Mr. President, we've just gotten the latest numbers on the Senate Republicans' reckless plan to take away health insurance from millions of American families, take it away from sick little kids, take it away from seniors in nursing homes. And these numbers are worse than anyone expected. After weeks of secret work behind closed doors, the Republicans came up with a plan that will take away health insurance from 22 million people and slash the Medicaid program by nearly $800 billion, all in exchange for shoveling hundreds of billions of dollars of tax cuts to the richest families in this country. You know, with results like these, Senate Republicans should not still be trying to figure out the best way to ram this bill through the Senate. They should just throw it in the trash. We don't have a lot of time left, and I know it's easy to tune out these debates, to assume this is all just a bunch of partisan games. So if you aren't inclined to take my word for it, then don't. And don't take the Republicans' word for it either. Take a look at what the experts are saying about the Republican bill. Because since this brutal bill was finally revealed on Thursday, it has been denounced by nonpartisan doctors groups, health policy experts, and patient organizations. The American Medical Association says the bill violates the fundamental principle of medicine. First, do no harm. The Children's Hospital Association says it is, quote, a major step backward for children and their health. And the National Council for Behavioral Health says, instead of repeal and replace, it is wreck and wreak havoc. Lynn Nichols, uh, Lynn Nicholas, the head of the Massachusetts Health and Hospital Association, has actually come up with a pretty simple test for the Republican plan. I challenge any Republican senator to name one thing in this bill that will make health care in the U.S. better for patients or health care professionals who care for them. Think about that. She says, use that as the test. One thing. That's a pretty low bar. One thing. And yet, the Republicans can't pass that test. They can't name one thing in this bill that will improve health care in America. That's because this bill is not supposed to improve health care in America. It is not a health care bill. It is a tax cut for the rich, paid for by gutting health care for millions of working Americans. Doctors, patients, parents, families, experts, they're terrified by this bill. Terrified because they've read it and they've concluded that nearly every line in this bill would make life worse for young people and for old people and for families across this country. So I want to focus on just one major part tonight, the part that rips away the Medicaid program. And let's do some basic Medicaid facts. Who uses Medicaid? 30 million kids. That's about four out of every 10 kids in this country count on Medicaid to help pay the medical bills. About six out of 10 children with complex medical needs, children who need breathing tubes and special therapies and multiple surgeries, six out of 10 of those children count on Medicaid to help pay their medical bills. Nearly two out of three seniors in nursing homes count on Medicaid to help pay their bills. And one out of every three people dealing with addiction counts on Medicaid to help pay for treatment. Who uses Medicaid? America uses Medicaid. Children, the elderly, hardworking families, people with disabilities, people struggling with addiction. At any given moment in this country, one in every five Americans is counting on Medicaid to help pay the bills. So what are these people supposed to do when the Medicaid expansion goes away, when this bill's additional massive Medicaid cuts go into effect? What are they supposed to do? What are their families supposed to do? Dig in on one issue around this. Dig in on opioid abuse. 
This is a problem that is growing around the country. Last year, we lost 2,000 people in Massachusetts alone. I hear from parents who have lost children, from brothers and sisters who've watched a loved one disappear. I hear from people who are desperate because their child or sister or brother can't get into a treatment facility. I hear from dedicated doctors and nurses and counselors who need more resources so they can expand treatment programs. And now, the Republicans propose a bill that is like throwing gasoline on a bonfire. One in three people struggling with an addiction are counting on Medicaid, and the Republicans plan to cut nearly a trillion dollars from the program. I do not understand, I cannot understand how the Republicans could turn their backs on literally millions of people who need help. The cuts to Medicaid are terrible, but there is more. The Republican bill also slashes the tax credits that people use to help pay for insurance. The budget nerds at the Congressional Budget Office say that, quote, most people, most people would, quote, have higher out-of-pocket spending on health care than under current law. Think about that. Under the Republican plan, health care costs will go up for most people. And even if someone can manage somehow to afford coverage under the Republican bill, the Republicans are willing to let insurance companies drop expensive benefits that the companies just don't want to cover, including, are you ready, opioid treatment. If this bill passes, it will devastate our ability to fight opioid overdoses. This isn't hypothetical. This isn't speculation. Before the Affordable Care Act became law, a third of individual market health plans just didn't cover substance use disorder services. About one in five plans didn't cover mental health services. The insurance companies don't want to cover these services. But the ACA made coverage mandatory. And that meant that no one in this country had to wonder when they showed up in a clinic whether or not their insurance would help them out. But the Republican bill opens the door to dropping those requirements. Millions more people could be left out in the cold at a time when they most need help. This is cruel. Our country is already struggling with a treatment gap, and far too many patients facing addiction can't get the care they need. The last thing, the last thing we should be doing is kicking millions of these patients off the coverage they already have. Now let's face it, the Republicans realize they have a plan on this issue. They know that what they are doing is indefensible. So they have a plan. They propose to throw $2 billion into a special fund for opioid treatment and say, problem solved. This is political spin at its worst. For every dollar the Republicans propose to put into opioid treatment, they are taking out more than $100 from Medicaid, the rock on which our ability to provide opioid addiction treatment is built. And why? Why treat our brothers and sisters, our children, our elderly parents so shamefully? Why? So that the Republicans can produce a giant tax cut for a handful of millionaires and billionaires. That's it. Our friends, our families, our kids can struggle on their own. They can die on their own so that Republicans can cut taxes for the richest people in this country. What the Republicans propose is morally wrong. It is not too late to do the right thing. It is not too late to reverse course. It is not too late to junk this bill and start over. And I hope the Senate Republicans have the courage to do exactly that.